Hello friends, welcome to the Cloud and Data Science channel. In today's session, we are going to see how to design the streaming pipeline to process the real-time data using the Azure Stream Analytics service. This is the Stream Analytics real-time pipeline architecture. Here, on the left-hand side, we are seeing various inputs that Stream Analytics takes to consume the data and on the right hand side we are seeing various outputs that stream analytics uses to pro write or publish the data so here one use case is web and mobile applications publish the data to the event hub for example whenever customer checks out at a store retail store then the scan data goes to the event hub from there the stream analytics azure stream analytics service will consume the data and then there are various modes either we can write the output again to the azure data lake storage for our cable and from there we can perform the batch analytics or we can write the data output of the azure stream analytics to the cosmos database for operational data store or we can directly connect to the power bi to publish the real-time dashboards or we can write output to the another event hub and from there that will trigger either Azure function or Azure logic cap to process the sequence of steps like another workflow. Here the input can be either another IoT hub. IoT hub receives the data from various IoT sensors, IoT devices. Azure Stream Analytics consumes the data from the IoT Hub and then again it can be either uh, write to the Data Lake Store or Cosmos database or it can directly publish the reports, real-time analytics or it can write to the other Azure IoT Event Hub. During the process Azure Stream Analytics uses various SQL queries. Also we can read the reference data from the configuration files, JSON files, which are present in the data lake storage. Or we can also integrate with Azure Machine Learning Studio and we can use various machine learning libraries and models during the stream analytics SQL query pro processing. For example, we can also temperature sensors in the manufacturing industry or in the vehicles, we can have the IoT devices that will send the data of the driving patterns of the driver for the safety and uh, various traffic uh, predictions. And then Stream Analytics process uh, service consumes that data and then it will identify the anomalies in the data using the Azure Machine Learning libraries. And then finally, it publishes the analytics on the Power BI dashboard. These are some of the typical use cases. So this is all can be done by the Azure portal UI by simply drag and drop or selecting some of the input devices from the draw portal Azure portal UI and then connecting to the output devices. And then finally, we can see the analytics. This all can be performed within few minutes. So what we have seen is in the previous slide, Azure Stream Analytics is used to build the streaming pipelines within minutes with few clicks on the Azure portal UI and we can perform real time insights. It also have various analytic capabilities. We can analyze millions of events at subseconds latencies and it get guaranteed exactly once event processing with 99.9 percent .9 availability and built-in recovery capabilities for example if the job azure stream analytic job goes down and it can catch up the data whenever we restart we can configure either we can process from the beginning or we can also configure process the events from now or we can also process by giving the custom date from what date we want to process this is all simple configuration on the Azure portal. Uh, just we need to select the option, one of the option using the some click, one click. And we only need to write the SQL queries using the 
uh, for in the Azure portal for the stream analytic job and that SQL query is also extensible by uh, calling some JavaScript functions or by C sharp code. Uh, we can read the various uh, configuration files, JSON files for the reference data during that in the SQL queries. We can perform various Windows function uh, analytics using the Windows functions in the SQL queries uh, for calculating the various aggregates or analytics. And it also has built-in machine learning models to shorten time to insights. So we can readily available machine learning models. We can simply call that uh, functions. For example, for anomaly detection, we can simply call anomaly detect function within this SQL queries in the stream analytics. So it has ML based capabilities to perform anomaly detection directly in your streaming jobs. This is the one example for the stream analytics query. So here the input, if we connect the input to one event hub, then it stream analytic job reads the data and we all we need to do is we need to write a simple query. For example, select average of temperature as temperature from input event hub. This is the alias name for the event hub input event hub and uh, group by tumbling window. So it selects the window uh, average of the temperature within one second window. So here the event uh, input is another event hub where the events are published from IoT event hub, the temperature sensors uh, continuously publishes the data to this uh, IoT hub. Then this stream analytic job consumes the data and finally uh, uh, provides the output average temperature and it can write either to the another event hub or either to the power bi dashboard or either to the any other database as we have seen azure stream analytics is a powerful stream analytics engine to perform the real-time analytics within few minutes using simple clicks on the azure portal thanks for watching if you have not subscribed already, please don't forget to subscribe to Cloud and Data Science channel for more interesting videos. Thanks.